good morning and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. <clears throat> I have a joke this morning relative to the encounter between Mary and Joseph whenever they found out that Jesus was going to be coming into the world. So here it is. Um, hey, Joseph. Yeah. You know how we've never made love? <laughs> yeah. Well, last night an angel visited me, and I'm pregnant. Jesus Christ! Oh, so you heard about it. Ah, uh, Jim Gaffigan. He gets me every time. It is Thursday, March 19th, the feast day of St. Joseph, the foster father of Jesus, and the patron saint of the Universal Church, fathers, the family, home selling, carpenters, a lot of things. Um, and today's gospel is from Matthew chapter 1, verse 16, 18 through 21, and 24. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of her was born Jesus, who is called the Messiah. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to make Mary your wife into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Jesus awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. All right, so, uh, you know, as I made light of the situation at the beginning here, um, I think this is a, St. Joseph is like, he's like the man. He's like a man's man. If you want a role model on how to become a, a man, look no further than St. Joseph. Because, especially if you are a man or a woman, like if you put yourself in your shoes and you found out that your spouse is pregnant while you're virtually engaged, right? So they're not living together yet. Um, they're not married, but they're in the process of getting married, right? So they're, they're betrothed. <clears throat> what would your reaction be if you found out that your fiance was pregnant? Right? And, and Joseph initially reacted um, that way, but even his reaction of where he wanted to divorce Mary before they were technically even married, um, his reaction was very calm, like because like he loved Mary. You can tell just by his reaction, because he was he was going to divorce her, but there was no hatred or malice towards her. He just, you know, adultery back then. The the penalty for that was death by stoning. So Joseph did not want Mary to be put to death by stoning. He just wanted to divorce her quietly, no shame for her, and he just still he still wanted to protect her, right? Even am amongst what she supposedly did, right? Because who would have, who would in our human li human likeness ever accept the fact? Yeah, okay, you're pregnant by the Holy Spirit, and you didn't cheat on me. Good one, Mary. You know, so so that's that's his reaction. That's a human response. Perfectly normal. Um, but then, of course, Joseph's decision is to divorce Mary is overcome by the heavenly command of, of the angels in his dream. Um, so that must have been one heck of a dream um, because then he, he took Mary into his home um, and, and raised Jesus like it was his own. Um, so he, had, he plays a huge role in the story and just how to um, just how to the characteristics of what it takes to be a, a, a man's man, a true man. Um, 
So that's uh, I think that's something to take to take note of. Like, how would you react compared to how Joseph did? Because he ended up taking her into his home and he he raised him as his fa- foster child, um, his whole life, uh, Jesus' whole life, right? Even though we don't hear much in the Gospels ever about Saint Joseph, you know, so he's a he's a very humble guy. There's, he doesn't need the attention. He just does what God asks him to do. Um, and I think that's that's something that we can all use. And um, that's kind of like a role model. Um, and before I get into the challenge relative to Joseph, um, I did read in the footnotes here that that might be interesting to some of you that Jesus in Hebrew translates um, and means Joshua. So Joshua, which also translates back, back then in, in Hebrew um, or in Greek, means Yahweh saves. Uh, because it says, you know, that you will bear a son, name him Jesus, because he's going to save people from their sins. So Joshua, Jesus, same name. Who knew? So back, at, so straight to the challenge here. So the, you know, try to act like, like Joseph, whether you're male or female, a husband or a wife or whatever age. Joseph can be like, you know, he just is is the role model of how to be. What a man should be, you know, calm, merciful, a protector. Um, you know, he's a man's man. He's a, he's a carpenter. You know, um, he's charitable, trusting in the Lord, and he trusts Mary uh, to carry the the child of Jesus as well. He's disciplined um, and compassionate throughout the whole process, uh, loving, reflective in the sense that he didn't overreact. Like he he acted out of calmness and he held his tongue. Um, which I have had a hard time doing in the past. Um, he's unobtrusive, um, you know, so peaceful. He's just got this quiet strength about him, um, even here in Scripture, and just by lack of how much we really know about him. Um, but yeah, I think uh, out of all those qualities, try to think of just one or two of them that, that we need, or I need to, and you need to have a, do a better job of doing. Um, because, you know, St. Joseph, he's the, Patron saint of fathers, and he he can really teach everybody how to just how to do how to be just that how to be a father for your family. Uh, so, and I read a quote the other day. And I'll, I'll just end it with that because um, it really spoke to me. It was in one of the books that I'm reading, uh, but it said, "One honest man's silence is louder than all the words of ten thousand dishonest men." And that just really spoke to me. Um, of what I need to work on myself. So, um, yeah, so there we go. The feast day of St. Joseph. Um, one heck of a guy. Do some research on the man um, if you can. Just, But it's good stuff. Otherwise, have a great Thursday. Um, stay safe out there. And uh, keep it real per usual. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit, amen.